There has been a quiet release of an update of the DV5 UI and this has been released quietly. I don't see anyone uh, really talking about this, but it's for the better. Let me show you what I mean. Now over here, I've just gone in and I've entered this uh, module and you know this is an opt-in module but the really cool thing now is when we select this module and then we go to our design here it has its own flexbox settings and it's under here on layout now of course if you want to change this to block you can set this to block but we are focusing right now on flexbox now what we can do here is very interesting check this out if you wanted to have this area here on the right well, before it used to be very difficult because it's just been created like this and there's nothing much we can do. But check this out. If I click on this button here, now I have my form on the right. Just like that. If I want to reverse this, I can just click over here and I can just reverse it like that. And it's that simple. I mean, this is very, very, very exciting. Now, let me show you another example. This here is our countdown timer. And I want to do something different now with this. I want to add an image and then lay it out as well. So in our layout, and this is where the update is, if we go over here to our content, and remember, we are still we're still here. We've selected the module settings. If we scroll down, let's just close down this so it doesn't get too confusing. If we go down to elements, I can click here to add an element. And let's say my element here is going to be um, an image. I can go ahead and do that. And let's go in and add an image. So let's say the image is this. And then we say upload image. All right. So now we have an image. We have our countdown timer. But this layout doesn't look really exciting. It doesn't look uh, really good. But the good thing is, if we click here, making sure you selected the right item, you go to design, you go to layout. And then again, we have our flex box. By default, it's always going to be a column. So if we click now on this button here, you notice now we have our image on the right and we have our text on the left. And this is really, really flexible. Now, do you see how easily we've just created a module that we could not even do a few versions ago? Now, we can zone in and customize this and make it look the way you want. So for example, let's say you want to adjust the uh, the numbers text. So this is where you can go in. Maybe 54 is a bit too much. You can go in and say, right, okay. Uh, how about we go with uh, two rem? Okay, so now we've made the text uh, smaller and this is how flexible this is. Now on the image here, you can also go in and make some adjustments to it because this image here has its own settings as well. So if we come over here to sizing, uh, we can set our width here to, let's say, 50%. Now, you really have to play with this until you get the size that you want. So, in fact, you can just uh, increase it until you get the, you know, the size that you're looking for. So, for example, here, I'm going as much as, uh, let's, let's go to 100%. Maybe this will look much better. Okay. So, there we go. So, we're now we're at 100% and this looks great. But you see, it doesn't end here because when we now go into uh, these different... Uh, modes, you, you're going to notice that things start breaking apart, especially when we get over here to the phone, right? You see everything is a bit too tight and we don't want that. But the good news is we can go now into our module settings and back over here to our layout. And you notice that our direction here is reversed. This is where you just turn it into columns. And now this looks great. The same thing can be done over here as well. You can see things don't look great. I can just click on that. And then I'm going to change this now to column. And now we have the countdown on the top, the image on the bottom. Now, here's the cool thing. If you want to have the image on the top, you can just click here on this little button here. And now the image is on the top and the countdown, the countdown, the countdown timer is on the bottom. Now, we can also change the size of the uh the text i can just click over here let's go to our numbers text now remember we set it to two rem now we can go to one rem and now it fits of course i can go in and further customize uh this description text here by going on the labels and right now it's set to 14 we can go to 0.8 rem like that or maybe even go a bit lower until everything fits in and now it fits in. So if your numbers text here is a bit too small, you can always go in and uh, set this to maybe 1.2, maybe four. There we go. 
So now we have a layout that looks beautiful on all screen sizes. So if we come over here, you can see it's still side by side. But again, if you don't like the way this looks uh, this way, you can always go in, change that as, as well by going over here to layout. And then you can just make it a column. And now we've just updated it. Now, of course, this image here doesn't look great because it's not centered. So you can always come over here and center it. In fact, if that doesn't work, there's a few things that we need to do with the image. And that is to go to alignment. This is where you need to align the image. Okay. So as you can see, this is now really, really good. There's something else I want to talk about. And uh, this is the DV5 mastery course. Now I have a course that is really, really popular right now. Uh, it's on DVUniversity.com. Now this course is called DV5 mastery. This course will teach you everything that you need to know about DV. Now you can see already it's got 811 students, right? It has uh, quite a lot of lessons. You can see here that we've covered quite a lot. I mean, the initial ones are the basic. We talk about the interface, the variable manager, how to use variables, how to use rows. And then it goes on to the design, the importance of naming in design. These are the sort of things that a lot of tutorials don't tell you, but to be a good designer, who uses Divi, you need to know these things. And here we have the library and how you use the Divi library. We also have how to export your layout designs and you know the scroll effects. And just recently I added the uh, design workflow. You know, how do you get started with designing a website from scratch? And this is where the design workflow comes in. How to set your colors, how to set up your, your presets. I mean, this is a very good course. Now, the good news is this course is going to have even more lessons and more uh, tutorials added to it at no extra charge. At this point, you're probably asking, well, how much is the course? Well, the course is going to be going for $97. But if you buy it right now, you're going to get it for $27. When I add new modules and new, uh, new lessons, I will not be charging you any extra to that. Now, the reason why it's not 97 right now is because I still have more modules to add and I also have a lot of freebies, templates for you to go in and start using to make things easier for you. So let me just show you quickly. Now you see this header here? This is a template that I'll be giving away for free. All these sections I'll be giving away for free. The footers, the headers, you know, like this header, all this I'll be giving away for free. And this is why the course is going to go up to $97. But right now you can grab it for only $27. The link to that will be in the video description below. You know, time is moving really fast. So the sooner you get it, the better. Otherwise, if you miss this opportunity, you're going to get it at a higher price. Now, let me show you one more thing with Divi. In fact, you know what? This is really getting me excited. I really love how Divi is structured now. You know how things used to be before when it comes to uh, setting up things in Divi? So let's say we add a, uh, a new row and in this row let's say we add bar counters right now i want you to pay attention to this when we select our rows we now have a completely different layout here if we want to go into the columns themselves and make some adjustments this is where we go in right here boom and now we are in the columns now do you notice that nothing much changed but the change has happened over here on the top now it says column right here on the top Okay, this wasn't there before. If I click this little arrow here, it goes back to the main row, which is this right here. Okay, so this subtle change is fantastic because I can go into this row and then go into design and start making my changes. So let's say, for example, I go to spacing and I want to add, let's say, 4M, right, both to the top and the bottom and then left and right. Now, this takes a bit of uh, getting used to uh, because uh, sometimes I forget where I am as I'm designing, but I just had to remind myself uh, that I need to pay attention where I am over here because sometimes it can be very confusing. So, for example, if I select this, you notice now we have bar counters over here to the top. And then when I click, it goes to column and then it goes to row. So this is a really nice touch. And it's also clear that if you want to uh, make changes now or make uh, an update, you can just go to content. And for example, for this, I need to add a background. So just to show you how things are, there we go. So I've added a background to my section. Now, if I want to go to my row, uh, how do I do that? Here's the thing. 
you go to elements. Okay, so this is where it is. You go to elements, and then this is where you now can click on edit item, and this is where you can go in and start working on your uh, on your column. So let's say I duplicate this, right? And you want these two side by side because we can see here the elements. What you need to remember is we need to be in our column, right? So you check here on the top. Yes, we are on the column. Now you can go to design. Now you can go to layout and make this go side by side. Okay. Like that. And we can align this to the top, align center, you know, and do all that good stuff. But obviously, once you do this, you need to go in and adjust the size as well. So that is where you can go and fix that. Okay, so that is how you uh, use the new subtle change in the layouts. Did you notice this? Let me know in the comments box. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Until next time, see you in the next one. Take care.